The Harkin Institute is welcoming back renowned political analyst and founder of the Cook Political Report, Charlie Cook, for his annual lecture. It's all happening next Monday. Joining me now is Charlie Cook himself and perfect timing with our election results coming in overnight. Charlie, tell me some of your main takeaways from the results of this election. Well, I think if you found the most pessimistic Democratic strategists around and then you asked them what was their worst case scenario, I'd say this is worse than that, um, that, uh, um, you know, we saw an election that, you know, you had seven states that were right on the right, right in the swing states. And we know that they tend not to break down the middle. They tend to break one way or the other. But at this point, it looks like they're going to go, you know, they went seven and oh uh, for Trump and not by huge margins, but by big enough. And the Senate was uh, looks like it's going to be on the, the really high end for Republicans. And the House is the one question mark where it looks like, you know, it's probably going to stay within three or four seats of where it is now. But, you know, that's with the uh, Republicans up by four. But the House is is what's really remaining that's important to see. Right, right. Of course, the Senate being called already. But with that recent poll, Charlie, that we had here in Iowa that really sort of energized Democrats in those few days leading up to the election, were there any results here or trends that surprised you specifically here in Iowa? Um, I wasn't watching Iowa exclusively, um, to be honest. Um, uh, Ann Seltzer is a terrific, terrific pollster, but it doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how careful you are. You know, one out of 20 polls is just going to be, you know, someplace else. And my interpretation of her poll was not that 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 Harris would win, but that, um, you know, it wasn't going to be a landslide in Iowa. And I don't have the last number for the state mm -hmm. in front of me, but uh, um, but even the best pollsters get it get it off a little bit. But Democrats just nationally have a massive, massive problem with small town rural America. They've become so focused on major urban areas and in the Electoral College in the U.S. Senate. That's a big problem. And Charlie, next week you'll be doing an event and a lecture at Drake University. So Des Moines residents, they can come, they can hear your insight and analysis just like you're doing right now on sort of the state of American politics. Maybe you can talk about some of the key discussion points that you'll be bringing up next week. Yeah, hopefully uh, next week I'll have caught up on sleep. So I'll have uh, <laughs> and, and think, think things that pour through the exit polls a little bit. But um, to be honest, I thought that Harris, I'd never been a Harris fan, but I think she performed since stepping up and getting the nomination pretty well. I think her campaign was competent. I think this election was pretty much a repudiation of the Biden-Harris administration on the economy, specifically cost of living and on the border. And, uh, you know, it was about Donald Trump to a certain extent, but I think it was more, you know, more about Biden and that Democrats... Uh, they won narrowly in 2020 and they thought they had a mandate and they took it too far. But parties do that. It'll be interesting to see whether Republicans, uh, whether they make the same mistake. But now the country is so evenly and narrowly divided, but winning by a landslide and having a mandate, it almost can't happen anymore. Charlie Cook with the P Cook Political Report. Thank you so much for joining us and your event next week. We're excited to have you here in Des Moines. See you next week. Bye.